What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. You're not catching that on camera. What have you been doing? Are you wasting valuable cellulose? Oh, bandwidth. You're wasting valuable bandwidth. <laughs> Golly. What am I doing? What were you just doing outside? I was cutting grass and talking to myself. <laughs> Close that door. So wait a minute. Tell me what you were saying. <laughs> Grab this. Okay, I was just cutting the grass. Way out there. Show me. It way started out there. with the voices in my head. Show something. Where I was cutting the grass. What were you saying? It's way out there. We <laughs> yeah. got another lot over there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what did you say? You, you came and you said What did you say? The voices in my head. What? Kept talking over the lawnmower. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. I was having thoughts about marketing and people who want to get into marketing who really aren't marketers. They don't have anything to sell. And the reason I was thinking about that is because that's me. I'm that guy. I've got, I've got stuff. I've got these hands and I've got some knowledge in my head. I know how to build stuff and make stuff and fabricate stuff. And look, at this nightmare. This is my world. Andrea, who's recording, <laughs> is the marketing genius in this family. So anyway, I got to thinking about why people want to get into marketing when they really don't have a clue about marketing at all. And uh, I used to be a repo man. And I think it's the same thing that we see we saw back in the early 2000s and the late 90s when everybody started driving Ford Expeditions and, and Chevy Suburbans and the biggest, fanciest rig they could get their hands on because everybody else had one and everybody else they wanted to be like everybody else and uh, basically if you're not cut out to do it don't quit your day job don't, don't muddy up the waters just let the people who have a marketing have the marketing skills plow on through and make things easier for you and then you can well I didn't own. have the marketing skills to begin with though so there's a there's a you did too you are so full of baloney you were a you know that's not the word you I wanted you. to use exactly <laughs> so anyway it goes back to like the skills that i possess you know according to the government i'm not qualified to do any of this because i don't have a certificate stating that i've completed a, a certification course and paid them their money so that they can say that i'm a professional but somehow you do I think it anyway. Society puts far too much gravity in certificates and such, and it actually enables marginally competent people to uh, make their way through life cloaked in a shroud of bullshit. Well, uh, what I think I like about marketing is that you don't need any degrees. You can actually just. You are. You're good or you're not. No, it's not like that. It is that. It is not. It is like that. No, it's not. It is like that. It's a skill set building exercise. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> marketing is marketing. Be original. Be unique. Indian Larry is is a prime example. Oh my God! There's so many famous dead guys. Famous dead guys. Who were really, really good at what they did, and they were unique and original. My brother, Poncho Johnson. This is an original. This is a this is a success story right here on being yourself and being original. Mm -hmm. And he's my brother. <laughs> John Good said. I anyway. might not amount to a hill of beans, but I'm original and standing to my true What is this hill self. of beans stuff? I, I'm married to more than a hill of beans. Sorry. You inherited a pile of junk? No! <laughs> when I'm a famous dead guy, you can have all my junk. I don't want your junk. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to take it. All right, but wait. Let's wrap this up. Come back. Okay. So, you're saying... This is you're ridiculous. This has got to be the most ridiculous video that I will ever let Andrea talk me into producing. Yeah, we'll so, see about there. that. Okay. So, anyway, the point here is that you think there's a certain amount of keeping up with the Joneses stuff that goes on with people... I think like people... people wanna, wannabes, I think there's a perception of easy money. Wannabes who don't want to do the work. There's a perception of easy money that people may get clued in on and... and it's not easy money. ...might attract some of the wrong people. It's easy. Oh, they realize that after they have to spend their first $27 because they couldn't go get their 
whatever they needed to go get with their $27. Uh. You know, they need to be like this guy. There's a story about a guy who had his leg broken on purpose so that he could collect Social Security. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. How's that, that figure in here? Just the easy keeping up with the Joneses' life. He uh. saw everybody else getting a check, and he wanted his, too. Mm. He knew how to do it. That's not even right. Has some young boys jump on his leg. All right. So anyway, you built a skill set up in in mechanics and a whole bunch of different things. That really, you're skilled in lots of different things. And I'm skilled in marketing, but it doesn't mean that I don't sometimes that I don't I do leave the mechanical stuff to you. It's true. As it should be. As it should be. But wait, wait! <laughs> don't leave the marketing stuff to me. You got to do your own marketing. <laughs> You gotta have a handle on it. What it is is you have to have a handle on it so then you can outsource it to other people. You can't you can't not have a handle on it. It's like me taking my car to a to a dealer or something and then expecting not to get shafted because I don't know what's going on in my car. It'll happen every time. Exactly. It's the same thing with marketing. You need to understand it. You don't have to know how to do all of the ooh, the mosquitoes. That's why I can't even get a job at a dealership because I'm too honest. Whatever. They won't trust I don't me. want to hear that part. They won't trust me because hey. I won't I won't Say goodbye to the people, John. What does it say? What is that thing? Oh, Lord. Here we go. Uh, to the company line. Okay. That's what it is. All right, so anyway, yep, bye, people. Something in there Thank for you somebody. for listening. And I apologize for Andrea talking me into doing this because I think it's the most ridiculous thing ever. <laughs>